Yes, it's true, Peter Capaldi is leaving the role of Doctor Who, and he is doing so at the same time as Stephen Moffat, meaning that Series 10 will be his last full series. Officially, his last appearance will be the um, Christmas special following the end of Series 10. I don't know, I couldn't find out if um, Stephen Moffat is writing that um, Christmas special or if Chris Chibnall is, um, but in either way, he we now know when he's leaving. And before the insane speculation about who's gonna take over the part or who should take over the part, it all begins. Can I just say I'm really sorry to see him go. I I haven't done a, a redux, uh, a re-ranking of the actors who have played the Doctor since he came along, and I don't know exactly where he fall, but he'd be upper half easily. I have really enjoyed Peter Capaldi's time as the Doctor. I and and part of that it came over time. His first series, series eight, was. A little bit iffy for me. I feel like he didn't really find his footing until Series 9. Now, Series 8, he was grumpy, which I appreciated. Because, um, you know, I as much as I love Matt Smith, I was ready for a different feel. I was ready for a different flavor. I was ready for a little bit less whimsy, a little bit more edge. And uh, Capaldi brought that right off the bat. But um, it didn't quite click for me until Series 9 when... You know, he he start he started that series playing a guitar, riding a tank in medieval Europe, and you know he had the hoodie, he had the sun. I love the Sonic sunglasses. It just he felt like a rock star, and that and that is that is what I will think of Capaldi's Doctor as. He was the rock star Doctor, and I really liked it. And I wish we could get more time with it. Um, I mean, that said, uh, as far as the modern era goes of Doctor Who, there isn't a Doctor Who's outstayed their welcome yet. Every single time they've said, okay, I'm leaving, I've been, aww, and ultimately that's probably a good thing. It would be worse if they stuck around until I was like, okay, you're done, can you go now? And, you know, maybe it is time for him to go in the sense that if he stayed much longer, maybe I wouldn't still want him to stay around. And he's leaving me wanting more. Uh, he's going to leave me asking, what are you going to come back for a multi-doctor story? And, th and that's probably a good thing at the end of the day. I've seen some people put out there that, you know, that they like, that it's going to be like a clean break. Moffat is leaving and uh, when Chibnall comes in, he'll get to cast his own doctor. I don't really feel the same way. I, part of it is that I'm kind of skeptical about Chimnall overall. I, that has to do with just um, my view on his output on Doctor Who so far, which is not awful, but also not great. Uh, to be fair, I haven't seen other series that he has been the showrunner on. So uh, maybe if I saw, you know, things like I think it's Broad Church uh, is his. Uh, maybe if I saw that, I, I'd have more confidence. But I haven't, so I don't. Um, so the idea that that he's coming in to, to run the whole show um, without sort of a stabilizing factor of a doctor we already know, that that makes me a little bit more nervous. I said before in terms of Moffat leaving, I think it is time for him to go. I've enjoyed his tenure, I think, a lot more than many Doctor Who fans, um, so far as I'm able to tell. Um, but I, I do th I do think it's time for, for him to move on and for the show to, to bring in somebody else. Uh, but I, I'm just bummed out, guys. I mean, I'm not... I'm not depressed by it. It was inevitable, but I I had taken um, a lot of comfort in the idea that you know Moffat had said he was leaving a while ago, but um, but Capaldi hadn't said the same thing. I and I liked that, and that's not the case anymore. So it just kind of. Uh, kind of bums me out. I don't have a big overall point. I, I don't have a message. I'm not going somewhere with this. I just, I love Doctor Who. And this announcement came down and I wanted to get my thoughts out. I'm not sure anyone else could have quite delivered the line, I'm the Doctor and this is my spoon and sold it the way that he sold it. I hope that they're not 
sort of building up to him leaving as like being a thing for the whole series. I don't want it. I don't want the feel of the end of an era baked into all of series 10. I would like a good, fun, rollicking time. That's what I want out of series 10. And then, you know, you can get as melancholy as you want with the, with the Christmas special when he actually leaves. So I guess that's it. Capaldi's wrapping up his time. I have enjoyed his time. I will miss him. And let the speculation on who's going to replace him begin. Yeah, people are going to be going nuts. And the debates, should it be... Should they be old? Should they be young? Is it time for a woman? Is it time for a black doctor? Is it this? Is it that? Uh, I don't... I have general thoughts. I don't know if it's enough to do a separate video on. But um, I don't look forward to, to that end of things. The, the Doctor Who casting speculation has never been something I've particularly enjoyed. What are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's a good time for him to go? Would you have liked to have gotten more series on him? Do you like the Doctor leaving at the same time as the showrunner? Does Is that something that works for you? It, yes? No? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell so that you get notifications when I put new stuff up. Follow me on Twitter at Council of Geeks. Check out the Council of Geeks podcast available on iTunes and Stitcher. And until next time, this council is adjourned.